We have our simple DynamoDB queries, which work all right, at least. But there's a small problem with our queries. As you can see, when we are retrieving something from our database, we are getting this a little strange formatting. We are getting our result wrapped inside an object, which states also their types. And this looks a little unnatural. Also, when we are putting things inside our database, we need to take each property of our item and also specify its type. Otherwise, we will get an nasty error. We will get an error that will say cannot read properties of undefined when we are making this query with DynamoDB. Well, there are two solutions with this uh, small problem. This is called marshalling or unmarshalling. Well, the marshalling operation is the one that will add this kind of uh, attribute type definitions to our object. And the unmarshalling operation will remove these attribute types right here. Well, as I said, there are two solutions to, the, to these problems. One, both of them are part of the AWS SDK, so no worries, there are, your bundle won't grow if you already have AWS SDK included in your bundle. Well, one solution is by using a library, the util DynamoDB library from the AWS SDK. And the other solution is by using the DynamoDB document client instead of DynamoDB client. In this lecture, I will show you both solutions. You can use whatever you like. Let's start with the first solution from the util DynamoDB uh, library. And we will use these two functions, the marshal and unmarshal. Well, for this, we need to install this package, AWS SDK util DynamoDB. So I will go into my terminal and call npm install this library, AWS SDK util DynamoDB. And now that we have this library, we have access to those two functions, marshal and unmarshal. And let's see how we can use them inside our, our small project. If you remember, we have this get spaces queries where we do a get item or we do a scan operation. Let's see how we can handle the get item command because it is a little more simple. Well, here we are, are receiving the get item response and then we are sending this get item response. Well, the solution is very simple. All we need to do is to call the unmarshal the unmarshal function. So here I'll say const un unmarshaled item is unmarshal and this is the one this is the import that we want unmarshal and uh, my spell checker extension doesn't know this word that's too bad i will just add it to my local dictionary all right we can call this unmarshal and then we are sending this get response item all right and let's just now return this item instead of the marshaled one. And let's now run again our code. This is the one. If we make again the same query. Now, as you can see, our result looks a little more better. Those attribute types are removed. That's great. This unmarshal doesn't work very well with uh, arrays, so we can't, there's not a function that handles array. This function only handles individual entries. So if we are returning multiple items, like for example, we are returning here in the get all command where we are doing a scan command and we are receiving multiple items, we have to uh, do a little more work ourselves. But not to worry, there's no problem. Here I'll say const unmarshaled items is again our result. Items, well, if we have it, then we can call the map function. And again, we can have an item and we can pass a callback, which will just unmarshal this item. And basically, this is it. 
this is how we can unmarshal multiple items and now we can just return these unmarshaled items rather than our whole, whole items. Well, this was one solution in which we can unmarshal the result. Another solution, let's also see how we can use the marshal function. And we can uh, simply use this inside the post spaces where we are calling a put item command. Here, instead of just calling this uh, item and specifying the ID and the location and the S, a simple solution would be to just call an, as an item. I will call right here Marshall and with our item like this. And this does what we do, did before in multiple lines of code. This Marshall item will just take all the attributes of this item and add those attribute types. That's great. Let's now check the other solution uh, that I presented at the beginning of this video. And that's by using the AWS document client library, not the uh, DynamoDB simple client. We will use the DynamoDB document client. For this, we need to install this lib DynamoDB from AWS SDK. So here I'll call npm install this AWS SDK lib DynamoDB. All right. Let me just undo this because for the moment I want to leave things this way. And I will just copy this class and uh, duplicate this implementation. Let me rename this and I will say post spaces with doc like this. All right. Let me just call here with doc and uh, what we can do now we, what we can do now we need this dynamodb document client and we need a client of this type so here i'll say const ddb doc client is dynamodb document client and we can call the function from and here we are passing our regular client and basically, this is it. Now, instead of using our DDB client, we can use our DDB doc client, this one. And we can, again, just use it. And instead of marshalling ourselves our item right here, we can just pass our item like this. Well, these were two solutions to the same problem. You saw we can use either the marshal and unmarshal functions from the AWS SDK util, or we can use this DynamoDB document client and we can generate one from a regular client and write our queries as we did in the version 2 of uh, the SDK. You may choose whatever solution you like.